Hello YouTube, it's your best friend Bethany and today I'm going to be doing my apartment tour. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. And if you've already been following along, thank you and welcome back. And if you have, you do know I moved to Kansas City in July. It is now October when I'm filming this and I'm finally gonna be sharing with you guys how we laid out the apartment. You can see an empty apartment tour in one of my Move With Me vlogs. Um, earlier on in my channel. But today I'm really excited to show you how we laid everything out. I did move here with a roommate and he has been doing a really good job of helping to come up with a theme for this um, apartment. You will see it's pretty minimal in design and we do have some ideas for adding more stuff to the entryway hallway. Um, but I just wanted to share with you guys kind of what we've done so far and hopefully you can get some inspiration if you're moving, if you're planning a move or if you just are someone like me who just loves to watch how other people decorate their apartments or studios or whatever to see how you want to do it yourself. But if you do want to see more daily content, definitely follow my Instagram. Um, I also have my foodstagram down below where I show kind of plant-based meals I make and meals I find out and about. Definitely like this video if you enjoy it. Leave a comment down below if you have any questions about where anything is from and then definitely subscribe. My goal is to hit 200 subscribers by the end of October and it'd be awesome if you guys could join the Beth Friend fam. But we'll hop right into the video now. Thank you so much for watching. So when you first enter our apartment, you are greeted by a long hallway. I do keep a large flashlight by the door. That's in case we have any electricity issues, um, in case I want to use it if I'm walking out and about at night. Safety first. This gray recycling bin is the first thing you see when you walk in the door, but we're not sure we're going to keep it that way. It is from Target. This hallway closet is mine. Next to it, we have our nest, and this is how we control our temperature in our apartment. It does have air conditioning and a heater. We do try not to use them too much. The reason I have my closet and also the closet in the hallway is because my roommate got the master bedroom and he um, said I could have the hallway one, and so that's the agreement we came to. But we do keep some cleaning supplies in here, our vacuum and extra paper towels, sports equipment that are both ours, and then the rest is my stuff. In this bag, we have all of our reusable bags we use while grocery shopping. This is where I keep my jackets, and then I also have my boots that aren't ready to be worn yet in the weather. As you walk down the hallway, you get closer to the trash can. I feel like the long hallway really does make this place seem even bigger. So we are trying to think about how we want to make it a little bit more friendly, a little bit more like a home coming in. This little entryway was designed by me. I knew I wanted a mirror here because I feel a mirror is really good at making a place seem bigger. This ottoman is from my previous apartment and it is from Target. I do have it turned around because I stained it and that's where the plant is sitting. It is a good place for people to sit while they're putting shoes on. The larger plant is from Ross and then the smaller one is a little vase from Goodwill. This mirror is from an antique shop in Kansas City. I do love where the mirror is, but I will say it is definitely not set up for my height at 5'3". And I guess if I really want a selfie in there, I'll grab a stool. Speaking of stools, this is the one I use to reach things in the kitchen. Directly across from the mirror and the ottoman is my bathroom. My bathroom is the one that's open to the guests and my roommate has the one that's inside of his bedroom. Thank you. 
In my bathroom, I have towels from Target. I have a bath mat that I got from a friend in Santa Barbara who had gotten two at her new place. The little hangers for the towels are actually from a dollar store. I do really like that it came with built-in storage and so I do utilize those. On the second shelf, I keep two bins from Target. Going down to the next one, we get into my makeup. And I've tried to keep the theme of acrylic because I really like how it looks in a bathroom setting. This is also where I keep my daily skincare and my toothpaste and my perfume and lotions. And this acrylic holder actually holds my hairbands on the top and my scrunchies underneath that and then my headbands around it. And this is where I have my earrings hung and then I have a few containers of some stud earrings, some bracelets and necklaces I wear more frequently. And then finally at the bottom, I keep my laundry bin. I really do like that the mirror in my bathroom is pretty decently sized and the three lights above it give really good light for me to get my makeup done well or to make sure just everything's situated. It's helpful that the plug is right by the sink as well. The current soap I have is seasonal. I got it from a local store. I cannot remember where this gold trash can is from. It is either Target, Ross, or Marshalls. The bee on top of the toilet is from Marshalls, and then I just have some tissues there. I have some basic toilet cleaning supplies next to it. This little metal pack is actually from Marshalls for tampons, for um, poopery, and then under it has trash bags for the little trash can. These two complimentary prints came in a pack from Target. And lastly, in the bathroom, I keep my fuzzy pink robe on the back of the door and then my face washing towel. In my bedroom, you'll see I went with a pink theme with whites and blacks and then accents of green in the form of plants. The first thing you see when you walk in my room and close the door is my mirror that I got from Ikea. I have had this since I first moved to California in 2018. I did add ivy around it and I feel like it's made pictures really cute and I just like the pops of green in my room. This ivy is from Amazon. This painting is one of another Target two-piece and you'll see the other one later on in my bedroom. This brown hat below is one of my favorite statement pieces. I got it from Montana when I was visiting my mom and I like to have it up on my wall when I'm not wearing it because I just think it's a nice piece. My closet opens on both sides and it has these beautiful wooden doors. On this side I have my shirts hung up and my sweaters and long sleeves. And then below it I have a shoe rack and on the top rack I have my pants, skirts, and shorts folded. And then I have my shoes throughout the rest of the rack. In front of it, I have some workout equipment. On the top, I have a bin with underwear, socks, and bras. Next to that, I have my scarves folded, and then I have the purses I'm currently not using. On this side of the closet, I have my guitar hanging on the far right, and then I have my dresses. Next to that is my sweatshirts, sweaters, and cardigans. Four bins on the top are a junk drawer and then a arts and crafts bin. All of these bins are from Target. In the bins below, I have pajamas and sweatpants, and then I have a bin for athletic tops, sports bras and athletic tops. Next is my statement wall, and this is where you'll really see that Amazon Ivy in play. This bin is from Target. I do keep a blanket in there and then my most commonly used purse. The pillow on top is from Ross. This drawing was done by my best friend who lives in Amsterdam. This pink canvas is something I got from Ross in Santa Barbara. This little card was given to me by a friend in Santa Barbara at my going away little shindig. This corkboard has some pictures of some family and friends and some funny moments. 
This clock is from Amazon. This aim to inspire piece is from the dollar store. These sunglasses are from a small boutique in Santa Barbara. This piece was done by a local artist in Santa Barbara and I absolutely love it. This print was given to me by my roommate. He's really into antique shopping. So we found this and it was made in the 1800s. In this little nook by my bed, I have the books I'm currently reading, I have my meditation journal, and then I also have a plant from Target. This chair is from Target as well. I wasn't sure where to put it, it didn't fit our living room, and I'm glad I was able to find a place in my room. This pillow is from Target as well. You may notice a theme from where things are from. I keep different rocks that I've picked up from different adventures along with crystals on my windowsill and I just like the way that they get hit by the light during the day. I have a few blankets folded at the end of my bed and I do use the top one all the time. The white one is a weighted blanket and I've never had a weighted blanket before. It has been a game changer. My comforter is from Target. The leopard and the pink accent pillows are from Target. The green circle pillow is from Ross. The two shams are from Ross. The black silk pillow is from Amazon. And the last pillowcase is part of the sheet set I got from Target. Um, it is, it's gray and a jersey material. And above my bed, I have the second piece to the first painting I have near my entryway. This little hanging plant is from Target. My white desk is called a ladder desk and you can get them all over online, but I got mine from overstock.com. Having a desk has been key since I am working from home. I bought my chair on Facebook Marketplace. I bought it from someone who went to UCSB in Santa Barbara. This cup with a B on it was sent to me by one of my best friends in Seattle, who was also my big in my sorority, who is engaged now. And this was sent to me when she asked me to be one of her bridesmaids. These are different elephant statues I've gotten over the years. This face is from the dollar store and this fake flower is from Target. This incense holder is actually from a very adorable place in Carpinteria called Sacred Space. And these matches were given to me as a gift from my mother. This fake flower plant is from Ross. I've had this wooden ring stand for the longest time and I have this silver jewelry holder that I got from my grandmother. I have a water mister from Marshalls behind it. This little square pink candle is from Target. This fake plant is from Amazon. This white You Are My Sunshine pot is from Ross. And then I have a seasonal candle burning on a little coaster that I use for coffee. I keep in front of this whatever book I'm currently reading. I'm currently reading The Four Agreements and I have my disposable camera. On this bottom shelf is where I keep my laptop. This little tray, I keep most worn jewelry or currently worn jewelry. This little pink holder I got from the dollar store, I keep my pins in it. This gold paper holder I got from Target. In this open drawer, I keep all of my different cords and plugs. This trash can is from Marshalls and I really liked how it had the pop of pink inside of it, but it was white on the outside. Next to my desk, I hang the current bag I'm using if it's not too big. Under it, I hang whatever mask I'm currently wearing.
In the kitchen, we have my roommate's little pig from Hawaii. Does he exactly go with the decor of the kitchen? No. Is he cute? Yes. Are we that serious about it? No. So he stays. Our paper towel holder is from Target. The microwave is from Target as well. Underneath that we have a junk drawer and under that we keep our reusable bins, bowls, and larger items. Next to that is the cutting board and then cups and mugs that we don't use all the time. This little wooden turtle is my roommate's and we just keep loose change in it. This little plant is from a small boutique in Montana that I got when I was visiting my mom. This toaster is a super cheap toaster from Target, but I mean a toaster is a toaster. This silver tray is actually from a value village. This utensil holder and all of the different utensils were given to me by my mom. I absolutely love the color and I really like that this pop of color helps bring in the pop of color in our living room. This little statue was actually found at an antique store by my roommate. This little plant was brought by me and we combined both of our cookbooks underneath it. I really like that there is natural light in the kitchen with this big window, even if it is on the top of a parking garage. We barely do have the lights in the kitchen on. I use this area for taking food pics all the time. In this cabinet, we keep our plates, our bowls, and our most used cups and mugs. Above the sink, we have our spices. You can see we definitely have room for more. In these two cabinets, we split equally. This is kind of our pantry space. This half is his, and then you will see that my half is a little bit more crowded. On our fridge, we have a little notepad that is magnetic, and this is where we add things that we need to get for the apartment. This little sign was created by me just so we can magnet it to the dishwasher whenever we run it. So that way it alerts people that it's running or the dishes in there are clean, so no dirty dishes are put in there, and it also helps prompt people to empty it. The left top of the fridge is my roommate's and the right is mine. We actually have not even opened these cabinets behind them. This video is just making me think of that. This is Charlie, my Vitamix. He is only a few weeks old and I absolutely love him. You will be seeing some videos with him. Down below we have our silverware and then below that our other kitchen systems like a spiralizer, a little waffle maker, and then more pieces for my Vitamix. Having an oven in this apartment is actually a pretty big deal. An oven and a stovetop. In my previous apartment, my studio, I only had a convection oven and then I had a plug-in stovetop. And yes, it was doable, but I will say having a real oven and stove has definitely made a difference. This little plant is one of my favorite fake plants and it is from Target. In this drawer, it is kind of a mess, but I'm keeping it real. This is where we keep our baking stuff and then we also keep our oven mitts. Below that is where we keep our pots and pans, two pans and one pot. And then below that is my Instant Pot. This trash can is from Costco. And at first I will say, I wasn't sure if I'd like the automatic feature of opening, but I've definitely grown used to it. As you go into the living room, you get to see this painting that my roommate actually found in Santa Barbara. You can see that it has some of the same blues from the utensil holder in the kitchen, and you'll see those blues in the living room as well. These stools were actually a find from Craigslist. And once again, my roommate found them. It's nice to have this little area for each of us to work on our computers and it's also a good place to eat. We got this little bookshelf from Target. This fake plant is from the dollar store and we did put a mixture of both of our books on the shelves and both of us, weirdly enough, had a boomerang to put on the shelf from Australia. Uh, 
Above the shelf is a mask that I was with my roommate when he found at an antique store. He fell in love with it, he got it, and it was funny because we didn't know we were gonna live with each other at that point. I absolutely fell in love with it and it looks amazing. This little drum-like table is from Target and I had it in my previous apartment. These coasters were my roommates. This bronze statue is a new find for our apartment and my roommate got this from an antique store in Kansas City. This little plant is from Target. This little container holds gold from Alaska. This couch is from Walmart. We did get it shipped to us and we put it together ourselves. Both of these pillows are from Target, but the pillowcases you're seeing are from Amazon. This soft blanket is from Dillard's and we got an amazing deal on it just because it was mismarked. This turtle painting is my roommate's and he got it from Hawaii. This lamp is from Amazon and my roommate brought this with him from his previous apartment. This tree is fake and we got it from Craigslist. Next to the TV stand is a little poof I have and it is from Target and on top of it is a little pillow that I got from Target as well. This door goes to the master bedroom that my roommate has and it's a little bit bigger than mine. It has a personal bathroom and it has a walk-in closet. But thank you so much for watching and I really hope you enjoyed the apartment tour.